People ask me, how are you feeling? The worst part about asking me how you're feeling is that I feel fine, I feel better every day, but I don't like answering the question, how are you feeling? I'm doing more every day. For example, you get stronger. You're laying down on your back in intensive care. You cannot move. You're tied up to wires and tubes and you're taking pills and every two seconds the nurses are in checking this, that, and the other thing. You get stronger every day. Before you know it, you're out of intensive care. You're on the floor in a room and they're just monitoring you. They're making sure your heartbeat is normal. Um, and then they tell you, you're going to go home in a couple of days. Well, a couple of days comes real quick. And uh, I was operated on on a Tuesday. And then on Saturday morning, they came and took all the tubes and wires off and said, you're on your way home. And I was home sat by Saturday afternoon. I felt great. I still feel great. I just came off of sternal precautions. What does that mean? It means you cannot use your arms to boost yourself up out of bed or get yourself up off a chair. You're not supposed to lift anything more than 10 pounds. Think about that. Try to go through a day without using your arms and that's about what it amounts to. My wife had to help me get out of bed, get up out of the chair. I couldn't put the trash barrels out. I couldn't even move a chair in the kitchen because they weigh more than 10 pounds. But as time goes on, you get antsy. So you start doing those things. Well, that's only normal. You're getting stronger. You need to do those things. I started rehab a week after I got out of the hospital. I've been going to rehab now for the last three weeks. It's a wonderful program. I attend rehab three days a week. Uh, I started out very, very simply. Light workouts, stretching exercises. It gets you back into conditioning. You wake up in the morning and you're stiff and you're sore and you go to rehab and you stretch and you do light exercises and you come home feeling refreshed. Of course they put you on a hot healthy diet. Uh, that's not always pleasant but uh, you find ways to eat well. I've uh, cut my uh, intake in half. I've eaten more salads than a rabbit, uh, but it's good for you. Um, I'll have to stay on this. It's not a diet to lose weight, but it is a diet to keep you healthy. I'll have to stay on this the rest of my life. And that's not a bad thing. Um, everything in moderation, you've heard that said before. You've heard that said a million times. Uh, that is true. Um, we don't live to eat. We eat to live. That's something my family doesn't understand. Um, but I understand that. They should understand that after seeing me. They say, oh, Tom, you look great. You lost a lot of weight. Well, there's no magic pill. You have to work out, albeit light, and you have to eat right. That'll keep you in shape. That'll keep your heart healthy. Every day I get stronger. I start doing more around the house. For example, today I have to unload the dishwasher. We washed the dishes last night. I took the trash out from the trash barrel last night. After that, I'll be sweeping the floor. And if I don't do that, Mary Beth will be on my case. She'll say, what have you done all day? And that question would not have been proper a week ago, but it's certainly proper today. We both got up this morning. I had to go out and scrape the one inch thick ice off the windshield of the car. Uh, of course, Mary Beth did most of it. I started it, but she did most of it. I drove her to work. After that, I went to rehab. Uh, and here I am back again today. This afternoon, I might take a little nap. And if the rain ever stops, I'll go out for a walk. Even on days when I have rehab, I try to walk twice a day. Uh, and my length of my walks is getting longer and longer. Um, my quickness in my step is getting better and better. So I am progressing. Um, and because of that, uh, I'm feeling I'm getting back to normal. Slow but sure wins the race.